It's the little things in life that make such a big difference. Take, for example, the monarch butterfly. It starts out as a tiny white egg, no bigger than a period at the end of a sentence. Monarch females will lay between 300 and 500 eggs in their relatively short lifespan of two to six weeks. Monarchs will only lay their eggs on the leaves of a milkweed plant. The plant becomes its nursery and food source. About three days after the egg is deposited, it hatches into a tiny larva that immediately begins chewing on its host. For about two weeks, the caterpillar grows, shedding its skin four or five times. It continues to grow until it's ready for its next stage of life. The caterpillar looks for a safe place to pupate, that is to go through the metamorphic process of becoming a butterfly. It lays out a small patch of silk, then attaches to it using a tiny hook in its tail. It hangs upside down, but quickly contorts into something that resembles the letter J. In a day or so, it goes through its final molt and begins to secrete what will become a protective outer covering, its chrysalis. It only takes a few minutes before the caterpillar is covered with a beautiful jade green shell about an inch long. It will remain there motionless for 10 to 14 days. About a day before the butterfly is ready for its coming out party, it begins to darken. Soon, the chrysalis becomes transparent. You can clearly see the distinctive pattern and color of the creature's wings. When this happens, it's only a few minutes before the fully formed butterfly breaks through. The wings look small, but once they unfold, their veins begin filling with fluid stored in its large body. It only takes a few minutes for it to become full-sized. It's not quite ready for flight. It needs a few hours to completely fill its wings and to dry them out. This is done by flapping. If all goes well, first flight is just a couple of hours away. This eight to 10 week process is repeated four or five times during the summer. In much of the United States, fall signals the start of the annual mass migration to southern Mexico. The end of the season generation lives five or six months long enough to make the round trip back to their breeding grounds in the U.S. Some opt out of the flight to Mexico when they reach South Florida. They take up year-round residence in the Sunshine State. They can survive if it doesn't get too cold and they have a reliable food source. Butterflies don't eat plants. They depend on the nectar from the flowers. The life cycle of the monarch butterfly is fascinating. It's an inspirational story of adaptability, resourcefulness, and transformation. If you really want to do something to help the environment, consider planting a butterfly garden and make sure it includes lots of milkweed for the monarchs. Then pull up a lawn chair and watch as the miracle of life unfolds in your backyard. Watching this happen is entertaining, but helping to make it happen is transformational for the butterflies and for you.